Welcome back, everybody. This is Rush Little with Saxophone Improv with Korg Gadget. I'm putting the saxophone to rest for a moment today to do something I've been wanting to do for, for the past couple of years. This is how to set up your transport keys. You know, the play, the stop, uh, the loop function. How to set that up on your tactile to work with gadget. We're gonna do that today. I'm gonna to show you how I set that up. And what better way to do it, this is my new iPad. I've been using it for the um, past couple of weeks. This is the iPad Pro. So this way you'll get a chance to see how to set it up with the iPad Pro. Now, first thing we're gonna do Let's connect, let's connect the uh, tactile up. I'm gonna plug this in, even though it is plug and play. Okay, now I've plugged it in and everything came on, it's working. And I've already got my power plugged in, so everything is working okay. However, I don't want it to use up so much power. Let's say, I did not have my power connector plugged in. Okay, and I don't want it to use up so much battery. Or let's say I still have my iPad mini and my iPad mini, the battery in it is not quite as good as the, uh, as the iPad Pro. So, I wanna use less power. Now, I want you to notice something right here before I do this, I want you to notice something. The sound button is on which means that once you plug it in, remember, the Triton tactile has its own built-in sounds, the Triton style. You know, you could actually plug this into whatever PA you have, plug it in the power, and you actually got a keyboard. This has its own built-in sounds, you know, patterned after the Triton. Since I just wanna use it as a controller, and I wanna put it in what they call a low power mode, I don't necessarily need the sounds. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna unplug this from here. Now it has to be unplugged from the side. It's not gonna work if you unplug it from here. It has to be unplugged from the side. These two arrow keys here, hold both of them down simultaneously, plug it back in. Now, if you notice, the sound button's off, okay? Now it's using less power. It's in what's called a low power mode. So this way, um, it's actually going to use less battery from your iPad. Okay, nice little thing. Now, if you've seen my last video, you know, instead of setting this up to work with Gadget as a whole, you can go in and set it up to work with specific gadgets instead. That's in my last video. Please feel free to check that out. And if you like it, share it. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take one of those uh, gadgets that I set up in here. And I'm going to add the uh, play functions to it and everything. Or at least program this so that... It works with the play, the uh, loop, the stop. And we're gonna show you how to do that. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is go over here and we're gonna change that to one of the uh, gadgets I have. Since I programmed Madrid the last time, the last time y'all saw me do this, I had programmed Madrid. We'll start off with Madrid. So, you know what? And something else, you're gonna love this. This right here will actually work. Yep, the trackpad works as a mouse. Not a very good mouse, but still. So now, ha 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 There we go. So now we're gonna come up here. We're gonna press this. Get it right on there. Okay. I'm hoping you all can see that pretty well. 
on my phone screen is kind of bright. But what you want to do is you want to go down to where it says Transport CC Learn. Press that. Okay. And the first thing you'll notice is everything says no assigned. Nothing is assigned yet. So this is a very, very, very simple process. You go to the play. Select on it. Come on, double click. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and touch the screen. Oh, okay. No, it is doing something. Um, you'll know you're working with it when the um, box around it is sort of blinking. It's blinking in and out. From that point, you simply press your play button. And it's changed to a CC note. So now that's your, that's your um, play and pause. I'm going to go to start. And since I've done it here, yep, it's blinking. My stop has changed. I'm going to go over here to record. Let's see, is it blinking? Yep, it's blinking. Let's see, record button. And last but not least, go to loop. Come on. Is it blinking? Now let's get right on it. Hey, you know what? I'm just going to touch it on the screen. Like I said, it's not a very good mouse, but at least it's something. You know, now that you know it's possible, maybe you can make it more functional. We're going to hit the loop. That's changed. And you know what? Since there is no forward or rewind on here, I'm going to go to no assign, and I'm going to set up my forward button or here's even better. I'm going to set up my marker button as a metronome button. Marker, metronome. Okay, it's not taking it. So, how about this? I'm going to go into settings. This says I have this set as a dog control. When really, I don't want to set it as a dog control. This MIDI channel global, arc enable, MIDI channel global. I don't want to, here, let's go to here. Okay, let's go back. Exit, settings. Ah, okay. So the marker on this is not letting me do anything. Now, you all have seen that. The marker is not letting me do anything. So this is what I'm going to do. Exit settings okay this is actually set for CC so my forward is now my metronome and marker won't do anything uh, where this is concerned it won't it, you you can't change it and unless if, if you all figure something out where that is concerned please feel free to tell me but now all of these buttons are now set so I'm gonna go right here So now, all of these are now set. I can press this. My metronome is on. You know, loop. Let's see. Metronome off, and it's still looping. Metronome on. And that is how you set up all of your transport functions right there. Okay. Record. Over here. 
using the mouse. can't select MIDI while while it's recording so we're gonna stop go right here ah no I didn't need to double tap it I just said just tap it once so now record nope turn the record off turn the record back on this on my London gadget. Y'all know how much I love my quiet storm. Even in fast music. Little and I approve this message. 